Hey y'all, uh, this is LA here. Season 3, Episode 6, Review. Now, I have good news. I am recording the show right now. Thing about it is, I'm going to have to learn how to edit the commercials out. Or I'm going to have to send it to my editor. And hopefully, if I have to send it to him, he'll, he'll have it done by tonight. I hope. But I will have to send it tonight. I mean, I, I, I am recording it tonight. And I don't know when it's going to be up there. Hopefully, it'll be up in the next hour or two. But I will be putting it up. So, let's get into it. And for that, y'all, I've been going through a lot just to try to record this show. I should get a like just for that. A share, a like for that. <laughs> but anyways, let's go into it. Alright, so, um, Anthony is curling some wig up for his client he's supposedly be having. And Malika is coming back, the receptionist, China sister, is keep coming back, back there to mess with him, like, what are you doing? He's like, why? And she's like, because I asked. I want to know what you're doing. He's like, don't you got some work to do? And she's just bothering him. And, you know, Anthony's already petty himself. And, excuse me, y'all. So, later on, Malika is walking to the back because she has some towels to fold. And Anthony's like, what are you doing back here? And she's like, I'm doing my job. And he was like, honey, you need a new wig. <laughs> you need a new wig, okay, because it looks bad. Your wig looks really, really bad, like in front of clients and everything. So, Anthony goes in the bathroom and Malika takes all the tracks that he curled up and wets it up. And they're like, everybody are like, oh, what are you doing? She's like, nothing I learned from my sister. We wet up hair. And they was like, oh, no, he didn't curl, spend all that time curling that up. She's like, oh, well. And then folds the towels up. And then Anthony comes out talking and looks at his tracks. And I'm like, what is this? Who the turns around to the back and was like, Monica, did you do this? And she was like, yeah, I was getting ready for my hair since she was going to fix my tracks. And he was like, why would you do that? Like, I spent all that time curling those up. And it's like, why would you do that? And she's like, because you were talking about my hair, and I said those tracks were for me. So, you know, there you go. And... Lee comes in, in, and she's like, Malika, let me talk to you. And Malika's like, well, I wear his tracks up because um, he was talking about my hair in front of the client. So I just wet them up. And she's like, like, in disbelief, it's like, come on now. Can y'all, where is professionalism in this whole little show? Come on now. That was uncalled for. Yes, he, he was wrong, but you don't go ahead and do that, too. You are jeopardizing your job. This is not looking good, sweetheart. This is really unprofessional. So then Anthony, you know, comes in the back later on, the same day. And he's talking to China now. And he's like, hey, China girl, what you doing? Like, messing with her. She's like, Anthony, get the fuck away from me. And I'm like, damn, you got a client in your chair. It's like, no respect at all. And I don't, when I was in hair school, I just couldn't cuss around my clients and stuff like that. Come on now. And then, he's like, huh, why are you so mean? And to him, it's like playing a game. But it's like, be professional. He's thinking, oh, she, it's like a big sister that, that I just keep annoying. It's just so fun. I love her, but it's just fun to annoy her. And China's getting real heated. She's like, get away from me. You already started one with my sister. Don't try to start this shit with me. And he's like, no, and then her face. And she sprays him with some hair hairspray. And he goes back to his station to get some hair stuff. And they spraying each other. Like, the client jumps up out the chair so she can get out the way. And these fools is spraying each other all over the damn 
hair salon. This shit look ridiculous. I'm like, come on, how old are y'all now? Really? Then go, um, um, Leah calls Anthony like, what are you doing? He's like, she sprayed me with some hairspray, so I sprayed her back. And it's like, come on with this shouting shit. And, and Leah's like, I didn't know we had kids in this line. So later, Leah and Kim is, you know, talking amongst themselves. And they're talking about they need to, you know, show some gratitude and humble, humble themselves. And so they come up with the idea of sending them back to hair school. So I guess the next day or some days later, Kim comes to Anthony in China. And she's like, come on, I got somewhere I want to take y'all. And um, y'all need to dress down. And they're like, okay, well, what's what's going on? And so she ended up taking them <laughs> to Crenshaw. Anthony thought it was about to be some little sweet little trip. Oh, I'm so happy we're getting up out of the salon. Oh, no, honey. We're in the ghetto. Do you see what color skin I am? <laughs> I'm like, Anthony, all that bullshit is not necessary. Really. So then... They pull up in front of Kim's old, you know, beauty school that she went to. And she's like, listen, y'all need to find out the reason how y'all got started and remember that. And since y'all want to work with me, I need humble people in my salon. And so this is the, the right place to take y'all so y'all can to remember what y'all, how y'all started. And she introduces them to this teacher, and she's like, Mr. Williams is very strict, and he ain't going to play with y'all. This is the right person for y'all. So they in there, and um, he's like, well, I got some cleaning up for you to do, and I, I don't need no rolling of the eyes. He's looking at China. I, China's rolling her eyes. And it's like, come on, you about to lose your damn job. This is based on your job. And then he tells Anthony, I got some um, some dry mopping I want you to do. And he's like, what? I need to sweep, honey. Let me sweep up some hair first. And he's like, okay, I want to see all the hair gone. These fools, they got there and they just still didn't act right. China walking out. Anthony's just, Anthony is Anthony. I will give him that. He stays Anthony. Annoying as hell. But these fools ain't learn shit. I guess, you know, they don't they don't really take him seriously because they don't learn shit, to tell you the truth. And then back at the salon, they trying to learn customer service. Um they get tested for their customer service skills. So Dante has Jazz um here to do. And so Jazz is giving him a hard time <laughs> and they just playing around, and they fell, they fell in two. So, they, they, they real, like, <laughs> unprofessional in Kim Kimball's studio. Um, Kim comes up with this idea of having a, a Grammy suite, since the Grammys is coming up, turning the salon into this big old, like, gr VIP Grammy situation, whatever. And um, she wants all the women to dress in, in, in fancy dresses and all the men to wear tuxedos. And it's actually it actually was a good idea. It was very smart, actually. Especially to be in L.A., that's a, a great advantage to have. So, everybody's, you know, they all ready for the, the Grammy party or whatever. Um, China's trying to get her, her dress together in the bathroom. She has Shantae Moore here to do. When she comes out, she sees Terry talking to Shantae. And she's like, oh, he's trying to steal you away, aren't, is he? And Shantae's like, no. And he wasn't. It's like, what's wrong with you, girl? Get your damn panties out of the bunch. Like, come on now. It, I don't, she just had like a real petty ass attitude. I wasn't feeling her at all. And then, um, Charlie Baltimore comes, and that's another one of China's clients. 
And, um, Charlie goes sits down at the, the little hair, you know, dryers. And Lee goes and talks to Terry. He's like, well, Terry, says you don't have nobody to do it, China is, is busy with Shantae. You know, I need you to start on, um, Charlie for her. And Terry's like, okay, so he goes up to Charlie, and he was like, hey, how you doing? You, um, you're China's client, right? And she was like, yeah, I was, but, you know, I kind of got a lot of stuff to do. So he was like, okay, girl, come on. So, China sees Charlie in Terry's, um, chair, and China's like, <laughs> and goes up to Terry and like, what are you doing? And he's like... I'm doing Charlie's hair, you know, you were busy, so I took her along, because she got somewhere to go, and she's like, oh, okay, and Anthony's being messy, like, ooh, Terry stole China's client, <laughs> and I'm like, come on, why is y'all so unprofessional, Can you need to start firing some of these messy ass stylists you got, China ass need to go. I ain't gonna lie, Anthony ass is good entertainment, but business wise, <laughs> he needs to go. I guess he's good for the show, so I guess that's why you keep him, but his ass needs to go too. This fool, China, gets so pissed off because Terry is doing Charlie's hair. She's telling everybody, he stole my client. Anthony told Kim, Kim that, um, uh, oh, Terry stole, um, uh, China's client. And Terry like, what? <laughs> and Kim's like, nothing, nothing. He said nothing. And it's like, come on. Where? Can you at least wait till y'all in the back or when this is over to address this shit? What's your, what's your point, Anthony? You so damn messy. You just so messy. I just, I would love to see you at your family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> you probably start all kinds of shit with your family. So, um, later on, they end up there. Let me mind you, everybody drinking on something called Kim, Kim Tini or Kimball Tini or something. So, Malika's tipsy. Malika's dancing around the damn salon. And, and I think Lee was like, um, you're drunk. She's like, no, I'm not drunk. And then she was like, okay, why are you acting like this? Girl, I got to go pee. And <laughs> go in the bathroom. And Terry goes and closes the door behind her. Because she does it. She was fucked up. <laughs> she was fucked up. Later on, um, Cheryl Underwood comes in. And Monica was, she she was dancing or whatever. And then, um, Shay Underwood came in. She stopped. She's like, hi, how are you doing? And... She was like, oh, I'm here for Kim Kimball. And, um, I brought some wigs in here. And she started taking some wigs out. And Monica put the wigs. <laughs> she lucky that was, um, Cheryl Underwood that, you know, that's a damn comedian anyways. Because somebody a little uptight when they thought that shit was so funny. But, you know. Monica was fucked up. I ain't gonna lie, it was funny. Her ass needs to be fired too. Cause this, sh the shit she pulled on this show, I don't even know how she's still on there. They must desperately need a receptionist. Truly. But anyways, Terry and Dante, I think Anthony and China are all in the break room. Drinking it up. Terry got two drinks in his hand. And China goes and confronts Terry. Actually, Terry said, China, I did not steal your client. And she was like, okay, then. Then why did I go over there and you was doing her hair? If you didn't need to do her hair, then you should have said, no, you just got away for China. And he's like, look, the Kimballs told me to go do her hair, so I'm being a team player and I got to do what, I, what the fuck I got to do. And... And she's like, oh, well, whatever. The Kimballs told you. The Kimballs told you to do their hair. <laughs> and screaming. And he's like, yes. 
And then she was like, no, you wanted to steal um Shantae, and so now you stole Charlie. You ain't even think twice about it. And he's like, look, I ain't got to steal nobody's um nobody's claim. I make too much money for that. And then she was like, well, you should have told her, no, I can't do your hair because I make too much money for that. <laughs> and... I'm like, what the hell is they? They screaming. I'm trying to must have been on her period on this episode, cause I don't understand why she taking this shit so damn personal. It's business. What is wrong with you? She mad at Charlie too. It's like, girl, she got shit to do. She can't be waiting on you this whole time. What's wrong with you? Leah comes in there and breaks it up. And basically makes old messy ass Anthony and um Dante leave. And she talks to Terry and Terry's like, I don't know why the hell she mad at me. Y'all told me to do um Charlie's hair. And she was like, Yes, I did tell you to do that. So later on when um everybody had left, they were all talking and they was like, Okay, is there anything anybody wanna talk about? And Terry was like, I did not Still, China's client, and China's like, okay, would you stop talking about it? It's over and done with now. We we just gonna see, okay? We gonna see about this. <laughs> like, she gonna steal his client as payback. And it's like, don't nobody need all this bullshit. When China was talking to Kim about it earlier, Kim was like, well, just calm down, okay? Just calm down. And... And China's like, okay, I see how we doing. We stealing people's clients then. All right, it's on. As soon as I get the chance, I'm going to steal um, somebody's client. And Kim like, well, look, I ain't in this, so uh, don't steal mine. I'm like, Kim, I see why you hired a damn manager. Because your shit, you ain't handling shit. Whatever. But you should have told her, no, that's not the way to do it. You know, um... Charlie did have to go. She was waiting, so she can't need the the salon with her hair not done. This is business, China. This is not personal, okay? This ain't a, a popularity contest. Fuck that shit. Let it go. All right, so that's it. The L.A. Hair season three, episode six. I will put the um the episode up sometime tonight unless I gotta send it to an editor hopefully he'll get it done tonight who knows it might be in the morning but I will put it up you guys and now I did put the camera on the TV it's clear but then you gonna see a TV screen okay alright thanks y'all have a nice night like share comment and subscribe follow me on twitter at Jazz Chapman and I gotta um an internet radio show that I'm starting on July 7th. So y'all stay tuned to that. Subscribe to Jazz Chapman Radio. That's my my um YouTube page for the radio show. And, you know, just support me on that. And it's all about following your dream. It's actually called the, the Follow Your Dream Show. So, yeah, just support me. Alright, take care.